Hi, this is Mark Hockman for PC World, again at the Qualcomm Snapdragon Technology Summit in Maui. And what we're seeing here is actually browser demonstrations. Now, right now, everything that's been tied on tied to the Snapdragon uh, chips has been Microsoft Edge, which I think is an excellent browser, but most people disagree with me. <laughs> most people would prefer to actually use uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, or Firefox or something else. So. The problem is, is that we haven't had an ARM64 version of this until now. So what we're seeing on the right, this is actually Chromium. Not Google Chrome, but an open source version of the Chrome browser. And honestly, when we go to a big media-heavy website, everything looks great. It snaps, um, everything is responsive almost immediately. Um, things are actually, I would say, quite impressive in terms of performance. That's indicative of two things. One is the browser itself, and second is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX processor powering it all. This chip will actually ship in the third quarter of next year. We don't have any customers as yet, but the whole premise of this chip is that performance is going to be on par with a uh, PC, specifically a Core i5 U series. So, what we're seeing on the right again was Chrome, and what we're seeing on the left actually is Firefox, Firefox Nightly. And Firefox Nightly, again, is, a, is depending upon your preference, is, is, is actually a quite quick and responsive browser. It hasn't been uh, specifically designed for ARM64 in the past, but again, looking at this right now, we're bringing up PC World, thanks to the, uh, the helpful gentleman here, he's helping me out, and uh, again, it's quick, it's fast, it looks great, uh, PC World's not the lightest of pages, it, uh, it's quick and responsive, um, oh, that happens to be that story right on top there, so um, <laughs> hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that a little later today. Um, so basically the bottom line is is that we have two things coming together. We have the performance of the HCX chip and we have work on the browser side of things making everything quick and responsive. Good news if you're interested in a Snapdragon chip because of that huge, enormous battery life, which right now with the HCX is over 24 hours. This is Mark Hockman from PC World here at the Qualcomm Snapdragon Technology Summit in Maui. And we'll hopefully have more videos explaining some of the features of the new chip as the day progresses. Thanks.